Hello, and welcome to another edition of Making Music in a Van. Today we're on beautiful Birkenhead Lake, and we're going to be looking at creating different scenes in OPS to help improve our live stream shows. So let's get started. Now, when you first open up OBS, it's probably gonna look something like this. So you're just gonna have the one default scene and you're not gonna have any sources. So what we're gonna wanna do is create a few different scenes here. So scenes could be different angles during your live stream if you're using multiple cameras, or it can also be used for different moments, such as intros and outros. So in a typical live stream show, you'll probably want three different scenes. So one welcome scene that viewers see when they first log on to your live stream. A second scene for your performance, which will actually be you on camera performing. And then a goodbye or outro scene. So I'm gonna show you how to create those three scenes. So we'll start with our welcome scene. So right now we just have this one blank scene here. You can see we don't have any sources. Uh, I'm gonna start by renaming this. So I'm just gonna right click on here and go to rename. And let's just call this welcome. <clears throat> so you wanna use your welcome scene as something to let people know that they're in the right place. So you can use this to welcome them and let them know when the live stream is gonna start. I like to start with an image that has most of this information on there. So to add an image, all you do is go to your sources here, click on the plus button and go add image. I'm just gonna call this welcome image. And then under image file here, we'll click on browse and then we'll go find the image we wanna use. And now, as you can see, my image isn't totally centered on my screen here. And that's because my image size is actually bigger than the canvas size that we had set in OBS. So if your image looks like this, what you can do is right click right in here, go down to transform and go fit to screen. Now, as I mentioned before, you can either put all the text information right in your image or if you wanna add text in OBS, what you can do is once again, we'll go down to our plus sign and go to text. And again, we can name this whatever we'd like. I'll just name it text. And we can type in our text. So maybe I'll type in live stream. Well, Start at 7 p.m. We can click OK. And then we can resize this as well. And reposition this wherever we like. So now we have our image and our text and our welcome scene all finished. So now the next scene we're gonna do is create our actual live stream scene. So I'm gonna go down to the plus button under our scenes and create a new scene. And I'll name this live stream scene. So now we have a blank scene and blank sources. So the two important things you're gonna to wanna to add is a camera and sound. So let's start with the camera. So we'll go to our plus button here. We'll go to video capture device. We can again, name this whatever we'd like. I'll call it camera. And under device, we'll go down here and I'll use the EOS webcam, which is my DSLR camera. So if you have either a USB webcam, that'll show up. Or if you have a capture card plugged into your computer, that'll show up as well. And you can use those. And there you go. You can see me on screen here. So now the next thing we got to do is add some audio. So we'll go to our plus button. And we'll go to audio input capture. And I'll just leave this called audio input capture. 
And now under device, you can either choose, if you have a USB microphone like this, it shows up as my Shure uh, MV7 or your built-in microphone. Uh, Soundflower, this would be if you're streaming audio from your DAW or if you have an audio interface, you can use that as well. I'm gonna go with my Shure microphone here. And there we go. So now we have audio and video all ready to go for our live stream. And our last scene will be our goodbye or thank you scene. So once again, I'll go under scenes, hit the plus button, and I'll create a new scene. This will give us a blank scene again. This will be very similar to the welcome scene. I'll just add another image. I'll click OK. Select our image once again. Click OK. And once again, we can center this. Right click, transform, fit to screen. And perhaps we'll add some text to this as well. Click OK. We can resize this. So now we have three scenes ready to go for our live stream. So just to recap, when people first log in, we'll have it on our welcome scene. So this is what they'll see. Then when we're ready to switch over to our live stream scene, we'll do that where we have our camera and audio ready to go. And once our scene is over, then we will switch over to our thank you scene. And that covers that. So there's a simple three scene setup that you can create in OBS for your live stream performances. If you want to learn more live streaming tips and tricks, please download my live streaming like a pro quick start guide by following the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.